I think what I want to make sure is this call on Sundays, just so you guys know, is for you. It's, it's for your business. It's to help you grow. It's to help you, you know, remember that you're on a team. And what I love about this whole entire business is that it taught me that, yes, I am independent and I don't have a boss and I don't have to ask somebody, you know, what I'm doing and neither do you guys, but we're on a team. And that's what makes this really a cool business. Um, if you guys saw on the message thread, I was talking to you guys about the compensation video that I was able to um, have the privilege of watching the replay. Christina Delgado and Becky Brose are the, the founders of Diesel Nation. Diesel Nation is our upline 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 like we belong to diesel nation right and these girls have built this business from literally the ground up and what's really cool about christina delgado is she quit her biz or she was a lawyer in a very big practice and she quit that job to be a beach body coach full time and john and i sat down this was Monday or Tuesday of last week, we sat down, we watched this compensation video. Because I told John, I said, listen, I was like, I know we're sitting on this amazing potential, but I don't even really know how amazing it is. Like I see these people that are like really kicking ass in the business, but I don't know what I'm like, I don't know exactly what I'm sitting on, right? We just know that we want to help people, we want to inspire people, and that's always the founding brick that you have in your business. So, when I sat down and we were watching this video and we were learning about things that are still very foreign to me, um, team cycle bonuses are very foreign to me. Um, there's a ratio that you get these this automatic income once you start building success club every single month you generate volume points and you'll find that on your um coach online office and you'll start wondering like what does pv mean what does lv mean like i don't i'm still learning it but what happens is is that as you hit success club every month and you do it consecutively beach body rewards you with leads and then what happens is you build this cycle bonus. And if you're an Emerald coach, the cycle bonus is $14. And if you become a diamond coach, it's $18. And you might think, oh, well, like $18 is nothing. It's huge because what happens is it accrues and it builds up. But if you lose your rank, it, it's like a piggy bank and it builds and it builds and then it will cycle through and you get paid. Even if you didn't really work the business, you're getting paid. And so it could, it could, it could accrue to a hundred dollars in the beginning, 50 bucks. And then if you really dive into this and, and now remember you can make this business as big or as little as you really want. <laughs> I, John and I were like, holy shit. Um, now my ears were wide open. So I've been watching a lot more, um, YouTube videos on the compensation plan. I want to really learn about it. And I, and I, um, invite you guys to learn about it yourself. Go onto YouTube and listen to compensation plans. Even if it might sound so foreign to you, the more we hear it, the more we talk about it, the more you look at it, it's not going to be as foreign. You'll go, Oh, that sounds familiar. And what I saw from Becky's team cycle bonuses over the years was in the month of July, in the month of July, John and I, our mouths hit the freaking floor and we were like, dude, okay, we need to figure this out because this is kind of like a puzzle to build your income. And so this kind of comes later in time or you can learn it right now. Um, I'm in the middle of learning it in year three. And I don't understand it, but I'm going to understand it. But all I know is this. If you show me a number, I'm like, okay, well, tell me what I have to do. And what happened was Becky, in one month, one month, she made in commissions and sales $9,000 in one month. But her team cycle bonus that month, you're going to hit, Lauren, you're going to hit your face on the wall. 
Oh my God. She made in a month $69,000. Do you realize now this is what we learned in this video. That's why I want to share this because this is freaking awesome. And we do have this potential. And there's one thing in particular that Becky said and Christina, she said, listen, you alone cannot do this by yourself. It's a lot of people doing little things. And I was like, wow. She's like, it's a lot of people doing little things. So what happens is it's important to really work on your, your um, health and wellness, really continue building the love for yourself and just sharing that. So what we have to understand as a team is that when we're coaching, we're not selling. That's something that we have to immediately erase. And I have to, I think that's my job as the leader to get you to get that out of, put it in the trash and, and listen to me when I say this, when you are a coach, I swear to you, I'm watching these people and it is, you need to just fall in love with yourself, all of yourself, the good, the bad, the non-perfect, everything. And you share your life. That's it. And then what happens is you just start building relationships and you talk to people and they want to know why you're getting so happy or how you came out of a situation fast and you weren't holding on to depression longer or wow, you know, like Lauren, you know, you were talking about like, you know, diabetic and thyroid and all these things. People, they're like, oh my God, look, but look at her. She's happy. She's thriving. And then they want to know, they want to know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And it's, and then you just simply say, oh, I'm in a challenge group. You totally can join us. That, that's not selling. That's sharing what you are doing that makes you happy. Does that make sense? Do you yeah. know what I mean? So when you go out there and you start inviting, I wish I knew this when I first started because I wouldn't have been so freaking nervous. So the thing is when you become a coach on this team, you just have to keep loving you, rocking your wellness, and then you intentionally learn how to share it through being a business owner. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. And now I'm still learning that too, but now that I'm hearing it more and more and more, this is where it's getting really fun for me because it used to be hard. But now that we have like the Diesel Nation thing where we're having that online university, which you've been doing and you see that it's been really kind of a step-by-step -step process. Don't you feel like it's not, it's not overwhelming. It's just kind of like, here it is. Like, do you, how do you feel while you're going about it? Do you feel pressure or you just feel like I'm just doing it when I do it? Um, well, I've been doing it very slowly. So, but yeah, it doesn't seem like, like I can do it at my own pace and it's literally like step-by-step. -step. And um, even like the first couple that I looked through and read through, um, it was stuff that I had already done with you. So, right. I mean, it's, it's literally just one after the other and you, you just check it off as you go and, you know, and so you feel less, does it, it, my, my, my question is cause I want people to hear this on the playback for me personally, it, it really is helping eliminate a lot of the anxiety. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think, and there's always, I mean, there's going to be always anxiety because it's new, right? Enough, right? Yeah. <laughs> but I think what happens is it really does help eliminate that anxiety going like, okay, like, you know, you walk into, you know, your job as a teacher, or I walk into the hair salon and I don't know anybody. I don't know, you know, I don't know how to do that, but you just kind of go in and they give you the steps, right? And you're like, okay, I'm mm -hmm. a little nervous, but I got the steps. I'll get them down. And then eventually all of a sudden you're like, oh my God, like I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. And I think that's the mentality we have to remember going into this because this is always first and foremost, your, your journey. That's, that's, that's the coolest thing. It's just you staying accountable for you and your business. So I wanted to make sure I said that because a lot of people, um, when they coach and, and some people have left, it's because 
they get overwhelmed. And then when I ask them, I'll say, you know, have you set business hours? Um, what have you tried? But what I know and I want to address because it's not, I don't want it to be an elephant in the room is if people are, if you're not taking the initiative and asking questions and doing a one-on-one -on -one phone chat, then what happens is if you're, if you're an introvert like me, then everything goes in and you get anxious and then you want to drop. Right. And yeah. so a lot of coaches do that. A lot of coaches are like, I want to coach and I want to help people and I, and I want to do this, but then they get into it and then it's kind of like a challenger. Like you'll notice this when you have your own challengers, like they'll be in there and they will be rock stars. And then all of a sudden, boom, they go ghost and mm -hmm. they're not posting, they're not doing anything. And then when you go to check in with them, you'll hear from them a little bit later on and they'll say, well, I wanted to let you know that. And then something else is always going on. That's not giving them the opportunity to actually dive into this business. And so you don't have to just dive in. And what I love Lauren is that you're just going at your pace. And what happens is it just continues to build. And then you just start to learn how to ride that bike. You have training wheels on, then you take off the training wheels and you ride, you know, and, like Christina said in the call, it's a lot of people doing little things. So we collectively as a team can do this together, right? So I want to share with you guys tonight. I told you guys, I, I gave you the download for the power hour. If you saw that in the message thread, download that, use that. But what I love is this right here. It's the weekly action plan. Now, I take Sundays and I really map out what I do. So I'm just going to share with you guys really briefly about what I do. And then we'll just call it a night and we'll kind of move into next week. So I asked you guys to print that weekly action plan out. So I want you guys to try the system that I've been using. But you can make it your own, okay? But this is what's given me Success Club consecutively for 26 months in a row, okay? So I feel very confident in sharing this with you because it's working and I know it will work for you. So the two things that we had in the message thread were the business activity tracker and then I gave you that power hour. But I just printed out for now the weekly action plan, okay? So what I do is the first thing I do is I decide what my themes are for the week and I never change them. I never change them. I they stay the same 365 days out of the year, seven days a week since the last two years, okay? So my themes for the week are, Monday is motivational, Tuesday is transformation, Wednesday is wellness, Thursday is throwback, Friday is fashion and family. Saturday is something intentional that I want to share with them. And, and, some, and that always is, is kind of a random pop-up. Anything fun. Or sometimes if it's a Saturday that I'm working for my hair salon, I'll show like salon stuff. Um, and then Sunday is always self-care. And I always do a coaching opportunity at 9 p.m. at night. Okay. So I never change my themes. So step one would be for you to come up with your themes Monday through Sunday, right? And if you want, mock mine. Motivational Monday, Transformation Tuesday, Wellness Wednesday, Throwback Thursday, Fashion and Family Friday, Intention and Fun on Saturday, sometimes Salon, and Self-Care and Opportunity for the Coaching Opportunity on Sundays. So, then you're going to be like, okay, well, I have these themes. Now what do I post? Like, I don't know what I'm supposed to post. You can post anything you want. Anything that you feel is motivational, post it. And then see if you got a lot of interaction from it. Maybe, you know, you know, sometimes it might be the right time. It might be the wrong time on Facebook. It might be what you posted. But you remember we talked about, Lauren, like just finding that rhythm so you just kind of have to start finding that rhythm first by just posting two times a day. And it doesn't matter mm -hmm. what you post, just get into that rhythm. And then we fine tune everything. We just keep funneling down the gap. But <clears throat> I'm always sharing pretty much every day 
something fitness related because I want them to see if I'm working out every day or even if I'm on my off day, but I'm still doing my nutrition, they see that I'm doing something consecutively every single day, right? I'm not sitting there posting a picture of me and my Shakeology picture, like trying to get you to sell. That's not what you're posting. You might want to post you literally, you just made your shake and you decided to go in your backyard and sit in the porch and you want, you're drinking your Shakeology and you're reading your personal development because that's what you chose to do, right? Take a picture of what you just chose to do and post it and share with people with what you're doing. That right there is not a sell, that is a share. Does that make sense? It's what yeah. you are just doing. So like if I'm sitting in my kitchen blending my Shakeology, I might post a picture of me with my blender and my cup and just something eye catching. I might use Snapseed is a great app that you can download to make your pictures more poppy. And tonight at 9 p.m. you can see why I use Snapseed. Um, I use it a lot on all of my posting. You want to slow that scroll. You know, you want to get people's attention because you have to think about it. When you're scrolling, you only have about 10 good seconds for somebody to go, what, what was that? Do you know what I mean? What was yeah. that? So you have to think about that too. This all comes with time. But so like for Motivational Monday, for example, I probably will post a workout picture and something that I feel has motivated me you know, and I might sit back and go, God, you know, like whatever pops into my mind, I don't really think too hard. Cause if I think too hard, I lose my direction. So I'm just kind of an on the fly kind of type girl. And it seems to work for me. Um, it just might be something motivational. And sometimes too, if I don't really know what to say in a picture in a post, I might take my picture and then I might go to Pinterest and I might scroll Pinterest for some quotes and then I use that as like my opening liner as my like first sentence from a quote. And then I roll off and I talk about something. So if I was like holding my Shakeology, I'm not going to talk about Shakeology, but what I might talk about for motivation is <clears throat> I never had consistency before until I grabbed this cup every day while nursing my daughter when she was three months old, because literally for me, Shakeology gave me the motivation every day to keep going when the first three or four months of my whole career in challenge and in like my journey, I was going downstairs and making a shake. So I'm, I'm telling people like Shakeology taught me consistency. I'm not selling Shakeology. I'm literally, I'm telling them the truth. Like that taught me consistency and I'm showing them a picture of that. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. And we can learn some more of that later, but get your themes down, whatever they are. And like I said, you can totally copy mine. That's totally fine. Um, and then what you want to do is, um, over here, it says like the must happens. So for me, I always kind of set like what my success club goal is going to be for the whole entire month. And if I'm going to hit that goal. And personally, I always say that if you're starting out, your goal should be at least helping one person a month, at least one person. Or if you want to go a little strong, go for three people a month. But that one person, if you can get that one person for the whole entire month, and then you get that kickback and you made your first $30 commission, you're like, wow, I got $30 and I can take that and put it for gas or my groceries. And I helped somebody for the whole entire month come into our challenge group and get healthy and get happy. Like, that's really cool. You know what I mean? And it's just simply because you're taking care of yourself and you're intentionally sharing. Some of your wording and time has to kind of be a little intentional. You'll start to get a little more crafty with that. Like, you know, the in the beginning of the month, the first two weeks of the month, I'm always talking about challenge groups in my posts. And I took a piece of paper one night and I just kind of wrote down everything and anything that I loved about why I'm in a challenge group. And I just, I didn't even think about it. And then I kind of use those as my posts for my themes. I might, what we call is breadcrumb it in there, if that makes sense. So like if I'm doing a post and maybe I took a picture of some food, right? Mm -hmm. And it's colorful and it's bright. I might go, you know, like Friday night, taco night. Love that I get to go out to Uncle Julio's with my family. I love Mahi Mahi tacos. Who loves tacos? And who loves a good treat meal once a week? I love that I can check in with my challengers 
and show them this amazing treat meal that we get to do once a month or once a week. So see how I kind of breadcrumb that in there really quickly? Like I just talked about how I love tacos and then somewhere in the body of my post, I mentioned that I love that I get this once a week treat meal and that I can be accountable in my challenge group. Because what happens is someone might read that and go, hey, Lauren, what is this accountability group that you're doing? I really need some help. I'm, I'm really overweight and I'm battling depression and type two diabetes. Is this working for you? Right. And then you're mm -hmm. going to be like, oh my God, I can totally relate to you. Yes, it's working for me. How are you doing on your health journey? Tell me a little bit more about your diabetes, right? Mm -hmm. You found a connection. That's not, you're literally helping somebody that you just found that connection with, you know? So that's the coolest part that we have to just kind of get to as a coach is realizing that, I mean, some of these people, when they message you, there's some real stuff going down. Like they are battling real things that we're battling too. And you can say to yourself, hey, listen, this is really working for me. Why don't you try this for 30 days? It's a risk-free opportunity. And you're going to get a lot of no's. You're going to get cost objections. You're going to get not now. But what happens is every time you keep moving, you did plant a seed. So everything is a positive. Does that make sense? It's like if I, like Lauren, if you invited me and I said no, it's okay because all that means is not right now. It just means not right now. And you still are a friend to me. You're still, you know, talking with me and engaging with me and catching up with me and maybe commenting on some of my posts every once in a while. And then you invite me again two more months down the road and I say yes because I'm finally ready. And I could be like, thank you for not, um, a lot of people will say to me, thank you for not giving up on me. And that's cool because yeah. in the beginning, in the beginning, you kind of make it all about you and you're like, oh my God, she said, no, she's not going to like me anymore. I don't want to, I don't want to bombard her. I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, make her feel bad, but I'm telling you, here's the other cool part too that I've learned. I don't know if you're, you're probably like me too, because we do attract our tribe. You always think it's something about you. Don't yeah. you like, you're like, you're like, oh, well, maybe I said the wrong thing or maybe I stepped on their toes and, uh, like God. And what I'm realizing through coaching is that that thing that I put into my brain, probably since I was like 11 or 12 is just a lie. I, I it, like, I'm just trying to protect myself. And now because of coaching and because I forced myself to face some fear, I'm like, oh my God, like that's a total lie. And these people really need our help. They really need our help. And I know a lot of people on my fitness page right now, and I'm talking, and I'm, I'm at the point in my career that I'm not talking to friends and family. I am talking to complete strangers at this point, but I love it because I just keep working on me and I'm just sharing it. I'm just sharing it. Like I'm, I'm, I'm reading girl, wash your face. Have you ever read this book? It helps me battle my anxiety five days a week. It does. Why? What's going on? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's really cool. So I'm going to really keep talking to you guys about that because we got to break that fear. But these women are messaging me, you guys, and they're saying, I can't take off my clothes in front of my husband or my boyfriend. I'm ashamed of how I look. I had two kids and I had a C-section on both of my children and I'm losing hope and I'm in my early thirties. There's no hope for me. Like these are, this is sad stuff. And we get to say, Hey, listen, I understand how you feel. I know how you feel. I've been there. And what I love to say to people, which is a great line, you guys need to write this down. is I always tell people, I'm not that many steps ahead of you. And you know what that means? You can do this too. Because in actuality, we're not that many steps ahead of them, you know? And I think that's a really cool line. And when I ask people, I'll say, you know, what motivated you to, you know, reach out? I really want to hear your story. I always say that one line. I say it 50 times a day. I want to hear your story. I'm excited to hear your story. Tell me more. And then when I hear more, I write down those key like components, like depression, 
sadness in the bedroom with their spouse. Da 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 da. da. And I write them down with their names. And now I know. It's, I, I say ammunition, but I say it to remind them why they reached out. But I also find something in the body of what they said of what I can truly connect to. And usually it's anxiety. So I might say, I use the feel, felt, found technique. And I go, hey, Lauren, I totally understand how you feel about having anxiety. I felt that way for years. What I found was that being in an online accountability group has really helped me keep my anxiety levels at bay. I do some great team Zoom calls. We check in once a week with each other, but we also get 24 access with each other. It's really cool. Have you ever tried an accountability team before? Right? And so all of a sudden they feel validated. You're not selling, you're connecting. And when you connect, it's a cool conversation. It's a really cool conversation because then you're getting to the knit and the grit of why they need it. And I don't think that's a sale. That is a saving opportunity. And they might take it and they might not, or they might take it right away, or they might take it six months from now. But you're giving somebody, someone to, they can listen to, or they can, you can, they can be heard. And that's why I think coaching is really cool. So I hope that makes a little more sense into like the knit and the grit. So this week, I, I, I welcome you guys to take this business act activity tracker. And if you guys notice, the top is always taking care of you first. You have to check off that you did your Shakeology and you did your workout. And I love that because I don't think any other company I've ever worked for says take care of you first before you take care of your business because you are your business. Does that make sense? That's a really neat thing. You are your business. So if you're trying to lose another 20 more pounds, being a coach is cool because you can push forward. And if you're intentionally sharing your pictures, that might actually give you a little fire under your ass to do what you really want to do. So isn't it a win situation that you get to empower yourself, grow yourself, and also rock your wellness and, and invite somebody in? I think that's really, really, really cool. It's my reminder to post. And I do that too. I set reminders for me to post so I don't forget. But um, do you have any questions for me, Lauren? Did, 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 was any of this helpful or tell me? Because I want to know, because I, I want to also better myself as a leader too. And, you know, leading is also new for me as well. Yeah, no, this is very helpful. I, this last week, like you said earlier, I was trying to just focus on just posting twice a day. Yeah. Um, and I just kept finding myself forgetting to, because I've just never have been in one of those people who just post. Right. Even just like about my life, I'll do it like randomly, occasionally here and there. Right. But twice a day, it seemed like so much. And it would be like, I'd look at the clock and be 11 o'clock. I'm like, oh my God, I didn't post anything this morning. <laughs> And so it's, it was, it was hard. So I'm going to try again this week yeah. to like really focus on that. Yeah. Um, and you can always post a workout picture. Do that yeah. the whole entire week. Do it Monday through whatever it is. Always do that because then you always have that, you know, you can okay. always do that. that. That's a guarantee. Um, something that I do and you just saw it. Um, yeah. I seriously set a, um, a reminder on my phone. In the beginning, I had, I just mm -hmm. said on, you know, Monday through Sunday at, um, I had always give it th 30 minutes before I wanted to post. Right. So then yeah. it would just be like, post something motivational, post a transformation and transformations can be anything. You guys, it can be where you are from when you first started to where you are current, physically, emotionally, spiritually, anything. Remember your business is about you. So you have to think about this now. Facebook is now your business. Like before for me, Facebook was like, oh, I'm going to post a picture of Ryan when he was a baby. Post. I didn't care who liked it. I didn't go back and look how many likes I got or, you know, what time it was and what I said <laughs> and what I did. So it's going to be definitely a different shift because now your Facebook page has intention. Your Facebook page is your, your office essentially. Yeah. So that's just going to come with a little bit of time, 
But if you set your cell phone tonight, if you want to try that out, that's what I do. I had it set for like, let's say I wanted to post every morning by seven o'clock in the morning, right? Mm -hmm. So I would set my cell phone to ring off at 630 in the morning. But sometimes I'd be like, crap, I don't even know what I would make up that early in the morning. So before I go to bed the night before, I would just, and I always take random pictures, take random pictures of things and put them on your phone. Cause sometimes then you can just use those for later yeah. on. Right. So I always am taking random pictures. In fact, like I'll show you these that I took today and I'm actually having more fun being a photographer. Um, <laughs> no, I'm being serious. Look at these Snapseed is awesome. Look, I don't know if you can see these. That was today at Pike and can you see that? Yeah. That's at Pike and Rose. Let me see. So I just like, I post a picture, like I took a picture of my food. I took a picture of John's food. I took a picture of us. Like, I'll just show you them all. Like, look at the ceiling at that restaurant. Is that not cool? Yeah, that's really cool. Oh my God. This place is awesome. Look, hold on. Look at the food. Look at the pastries. <laughs> like, isn't that a cool looking picture? Yeah. So like, I just like, look at that. And I just use Snapseed and I got, these are all, these were at the playground. There's me in the background. Like, I'm just starting to have fun, like, learning angles and playing with the kids. These, I would never have taken pictures like this before. Mm -hmm. But I was, like, just learning how to have fun. Oh, wait till you see this one. Let me show you this one. I took a picture of a donut, and this I'm going to use later as a treat meal picture. Look at that. Wow. You know what we had today? That was a donut with ice cream in it. I was going to say, is that ice cream in it? It's called, um, hold on. The Baked Bear. You have to go there. Oh, wow. Oh, my heavenly Lord. The Baked <laughs> Bear. Is that not a good treat meal? Yeah. It was magnificent. It was magnificent. But see, like, see how it's, like, really bright and vibrant? Like, yeah. do you think that would slow the scroll versus something dull and grainy? Yeah. Does that make sense? So if you download Snapseed. Okay. It's this one. Oh God, there's a glare. Can you see that one right here where my fingernail is right there? Yeah. The green thing. Download yeah. that and then just start playing with it. You can start playing with it. You can start like finding which filters you like and play with them. So I just take a bunch of pictures, but what I do the night before is that's why I love the, like I already planned, I plan the themes because like mm -hmm. okay, the night before I go to bed, I know my two posts for tomorrow are something motivational and you can make them whatever you need for motivation. You know, it could be a, a picture, whatever it is, just come up with it. Could, I usually will write something out and then I'll take a picture of like a workout picture. Yeah. Something what I do, but the night before I will go on and you have the, um, notes on your cell phone. Yeah. I literally just type out. I, these are all posts that I have that okay. I've written out. And then I use the emojis and I can just copy and paste and boom, I'm done. It makes it so much easier. But then when I love it night before I go to bed, I can actually think about something that I really want to, that's really on my mind. Mm -hmm. You know, like, I, and I really try to just speak to like what my heart is trying to talk about. That's it. And that just comes with time. But the, this might help you with the self reminder and notes. Yeah. This might give you just a little more at ease because you're going to go back into the school year this can really, you can do, you know, type out two, two posts before you go to bed. Boom, boom, you're done. You know? Yeah. That really does help. And the cool part about this is if you save these, then mm -hmm. guess what? You can reuse them and recycle them later. You might use a different picture. Okay. So if you feel like you have like a message, like let's say this message that I had one time was, um, I was talking about, are you hustling for joy? Or are you hustling for burnout? Right. And I really loved what I wrote here. So, and it got a lot of good hits on Facebook. I went back. I'm like, wow, I got like 70 likes. And in the beginning I wasn't getting likes like that, but I realized, okay, it was, it was a combination of the both, but I'm going to save this and I might use it again later with a different picture and just use the same message because not everybody's going to see your feed. So you have to remember Joe Schmo ain't going to see the same pictures and the same things every single day. Does that make sense? Yeah. So those little things really, really, really helped me. But Sundays, taking this thing here and going, like setting my intentions, like, 
you know, 10 invites, 10 follow-ups, 15 conversations. I didn't start like that. I literally was like, I'm going to do five invites and, you know, five follow-ups or, you know, five conversations. Cause sometimes you can't follow up until you have the conversation. So, you know, your goal for the week might just be talking to five people a day because then you have conversation. If you don't have conversation, you can't lead into an invite. Cause then if you don't have a conversation, then it feels cold and it feels silly and you don't want that. So mm-hmm. you just have conversations. Hey, what's up? You know, like all yeah. those people that liked your post for your coming out post. I don't, I think it was like well over 70 something. You have 70 people that you can thank in messenger and just send the message three. Remember I talked about, you can't have to send, you can't send the same, you can't copy and paste, copy and paste. It'll pop up like you're spamming people like yeah. Facebook red flag it. So you can go on your computer go to Google Docs, it's free, and you can type out three messages like, hey friend, thanks so much for the love and support of my post last week when I said I was becoming a coach. How is your weekend? Question mark. And then I always replace the friend with their name. And then I might go to the next one. I go, hey, you know, hey friend, just wanted to say happy, you know, happy Sunday night. I wanted to let you know that your support on my post last week was awesome. How are you, Stacy? Hey, you know, hello, friend. And then I'll do another one, right? So then I can copy and paste and go a little faster. And mm-hmm. I might just say, okay, I'm going to do 10 people. And then I'll go to that post and I'll, and I'll click on all the names and I'll open up Facebook twice, right? So I have my message thread open and then I have my Facebook thread open. And then I'll go, okay, <clears throat> Lauren, you know, I opened up that post and I see 75 people. And I'm looking at all of them and I'll just start at the top. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to thank Tracy and I'm going to thank Lisa and Karen and Julie and Cindy and Rachel. And then I just copy and paste in threes. I start at the top, boom, boom. And I leave it and I leave it in the message thread and they'll probably respond back and you can start a conversation. You just kind of see where it takes you. That's it. You're just talking. You're just talking. Then once that happens, we can start filtering, you know, but mm-hmm. the, the online Academy <clears throat> is really going to help. But hopefully just for now, getting the rhythm of finding your themes for the week, um, using the business activity tracker, setting your cell phone reminder, using some notes. Those are just really great ways to just make it super simple and super easy. And then you can have more fun with your intention. So okay. I hope that helped. And um, I would just say, try these two things, you guys, to everybody this week. Now, I I mean, I literally, they made this and it works. It works. And it's simple. Like it literally just says, you know, have three conversations with three new contacts. Well, you may not have that. So for now you can cross that off and just say, I'm just going to have three new conversations with three people. They don't have to be new, you know, like, so just start it. So I think that's always a good thing. And then if it says like, you know, like talk to three people about the coaching opportunity, you can simply just ask people, you're like, Hey, listen, I know you're probably not interested, but we have a coaching opportunity on Wednesday night. Do you know of anybody who might be curious about what I do? Or you could do a post late at night, like around 10 o'clock when all the moms are chilling out and they're scrolling Facebook and you can say, Hey, you know, I'm looking for 10 women to join my next online accountability boot camp." who's interested, you know, and that's how you start. You just have to kind of like start, you know, but I would say for now, cause you're on the call tonight, just keep like make to make next week your two posts a day, make that your goal and just make it for Monday through Friday. Okay. That's it. Like give yourself, remember you're the boss. So whatever you do, there's no right or wrong you know, but give yourself a goal, at least that, you know, that is making it in a forward motion, just like your health and wellness. So, you know, if it was me personally, I would say, you know, I would try to go for the whole entire week if you can, but if that seems too much Monday through Friday, okay, Monday through Friday, come up with some themes. If you want to copy mine again, it's for Monday is motivation, Tuesday's transformation, Wednesday's wellness, Thursday's throwback and Friday is like family and fashion, or you could, you could even do, um, like you and your boyfriend or, you know, what you like to do when you go out on a Friday night. Okay. And just post that, you know, 
Like you could post yep. a picture of a cocktail or, you know, having dessert or whatever. Like it's just so cool because it's not, it's coaching. is just not about being perfect. And that's something that is very freeing too, because I'm always trying to be perfect when I know I don't have to be. Mm-hmm. So see how it's like all, like, it just helps you evolve. And then you're like, dude, you gotta do this. You know, like, <laughs> it's awesome. So I hope that helped. Did it help? Did it help? Yeah. Okay, it cool. Cool. Um, the other thing that I did too, before we hang up is, and I know we're running just a word like 12 minutes after, um, I made a list of 20 things and this took time. This was not an overnight process. 20 reasons why I love being a coach. It helps me connect with why I'm doing the business because sometimes you lose sight of why you're working your business, which Mm -hmm. can create burnout and quitting. But this is a, I mean, like these girls are making some bank and if you want to go for it, you can, or I mean, hello, I would love just $500 a week consecutively. That would be fantastic. On top of my, my, my hairdressing salary, that'd be great. Yeah. You know? So you got to think of those small things like, do I want this? Do I want that? And then we go after it together as a team. But if you and I team up and you, me and Danielle team up and the whole rest of the squad teams up and we say, okay, this month in September, how many people are you going to help? And if you just help two and I help two and Danielle helps two, well, that's six people we just helped in the whole entire month and it helped build our business. See what I mean? So small, but collective, we're mighty. So make a list if you can too, of just why you love coaching. And some of mine, just five examples are like, I inspired to live a healthy, fit and positive life. I'm held accountable for my own health and fitness. I get to meet fabulous people. I'll just read them all to you real quick. I'm surrounded by successful, driven, motivated people on the same journey as me. I'm building a life by my own design. I'm more confident than I've ever been. I'm in the best shape of my life. I have hope for the future. And then I wrote things like why, so I could just kind of connect a little bit more. Yeah. you know, I've earned an all paid expense trip to Mexico and now I'm earning another trip on a cruise. I didn't go on the other one because I couldn't go, but I did earn it, which I was very proud of. Um, I get to work from home and do what I love. Um, I've developed healthy habits that have changed my life. I empower others to change their life financially, physically, and spiritually. Um, Positive people are a huge part of my life now versus before they were a lot of negative Nancy's in my life. Um, my marriage and other relationships are stronger because I'm more positive and I'm more healthy. Um, my outlook on life is more positive, healthy, and hopeful. Um, I'm getting more and more secure with my financial future. Um, I'm living my dream life and I'm still working towards that. Um, I'm part of a company that has the best solution for healthy living and a fit life. And I'm able to travel without taking time off of work. And I work on my own schedule. So I just wrote how, like what it does for me. And if you notice, a lot of them is just, I'm healthy. Yeah. That's it. You get paid for it. So I always tell people it's the ultimate accountability if you don't want to quit on yourself. Yep. That's how I see it. So I don't know if that simplified things made it less stressful, but um, that's what I do. And I always take Sundays to map out because when you map out, like when you look on the, you know, diesel nation thing, you're not feeling as anxious because if you're just going into the week and you don't have business hours or you don't know what you're doing, then it's almost you're setting yourself up to say, I'm just going to quit in four months because I'm going to get overwhelmed. Like you, you intentionally set yourself up without intentionally setting yourself up, if that makes sense. So I hope that helped. Um, I'm going to record this call and then I'll put it in the message thread. So other than that, um, make it a good week. And then also too, don't forget Lauren, there is the national wake up call. That's every Monday at 11 15 in the morning. Now for us, I, you have to go to work soon. So that'll be, you won't be able to do that. But if you go to the beach body 411 page and become a member to that group, you can always watch the playback later. And okay. every Monday they bring on a new leader and they give us their tips and you might 
try something or if, if anything, it just keeps you inspired to coach. Okay. And they have a podcast too that you can listen to, which I kind of like to use and learn um, like in the car on the ride home from work. And so I can pause it and come back to it. So the national wake up calls are cool. You don't have to listen to them every week, but I say, listen to them as much as you can because they keep you motivated and you're like, ah, and they're also relatable because a lot of people will talk about where they came from and where they are now. And then we feel like we're not alone, you know? Yeah. So that's it. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. The call's recorded and I will post it in our thread. Hope this helped. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye, Lauren. Bye. Bye, honey.